Today, I'm going to be deciding who is the better brother going into the 2023 NBA draft between Asura Thompson. The bench is standing. Risky pass. Asura! Oh! The I doubt his yeah. brother. And Amen Thompson. Back in. Four on the clock. Amen! Oh! oh! The latest mock drafts from both Bleacher Report and Jonathan Giveney both have a men going over a sir, but let's look at their differences and best features and leave the conversation up to you guys. We'll start things off with this Sierra Thompson. Real quick, if you like my content, maybe consider subscribing. It only takes a second and about 80% of you guys aren't actually subscribed to the channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and I want every single one of you guys to be there with me when I hit that milestone. Thank you all so much for your support. Now let's get back to the video. Asura is listed at 6'7", 207 pounds. He's primarily a very shifty player playing in the OTE league since he mainly plays as an explosive wing. Both him and his brother are known for their extreme elite athleticism, which is why they're ranked so high in this draft. And Asura especially is elite in cutting and making plays happen when they shouldn't since he is extremely fast and athletic. I mean, seriously, you watch both these players play and it's like watching a bigger size version of De'Aaron Fox play on the offensive side of the ball. Asura also has a bag when it comes to his playmaking and ball handling ability. Both players are very floaty, and that's another reason why they're so high in this draft. However, Sir uses his floatiness to maneuver between multiple defenders rather than physically finishing at the rim. Not saying he can't use his size as a guard to finish aggressive at the rim, since again, he is known for being super athletic and explosive, but Sir likes to contort his body in the air to go at the rim in an unguardable way. Kind of like Trey Young, but way bigger than Trey Young. Sir also loves to go for any second chance opportunity that is available to him. Defensively, he is elite when it comes to the weak side shot blocking ability in his game. He has a huge wingspan bigger than his brothers with an insane vertical jump. So why wouldn't he be an elite shot blocker? I mean, dude's got a hop. He is also very sticky on defenders and guards the perimeter better than most wings could right now. Now let's talk about Amin Thompson. Amin is listed at 6'7", 209 pounds. Amin is primarily a ball dominant player as he has shown in the OTE league. His playmaking and really high basketball IQ as well as his court vision is what makes him so elite. He is also like John Morant in the way that he finishes at the rim, super physical with his elite athleticism and floatiness that makes it really hard for defenders to guard inside and almost always makes it look like someone is about to get put on a poster. This clip right here should say it all. Back in, four on the clock. A man! Oh! oh my god! And did I mention that he could come into the NBA as one of the greatest passers in the league as a rookie? I'm serious. I'm not joking when I say that he makes it look so easy. It's like he's a more athletic version of Nikola Jokic when it comes to passing the basketball. Name one player you've ever watched that can throw a 360 full bullet pass to the corner outlet on a wide open three point shot. You'll probably struggle to name one. Defensively, he also has a bag just like a sir. Amen is elite on defense in one on one situations, especially when it comes to the point of attack. He sticks to his man like glue and can cut off any lane before you realize because of his speed. Now let's look at the differences between the two twins. Obviously, since they balled with each other every day growing up, they have very few differences and they play very similarly. However, there are some very key differences in both these players that let them stand out from one another. Asur is the superior defensive player to most people's eyes. He can play perimeter defense just as good as Amin while also having the way better shot blocking aspect of his game and still being just as fast, smart, and willing to jump the passing lanes. What Asura lacks in though is his control and playmaking ability. Not saying he isn't good in those aspects of his game considering that both of these players have very few weaknesses with elite athleticism, hence why they're both projected lottery picks, but he is far worse at control and playmaking than Amin is. Asura gets too flashy sometimes, which causes him to turn the ball over in the half court more and Amen is just a menace in the half court passing playmaking finishing at the rim ball handling you name it however Asur does have a tighter handle than Amen does Amen very often loses control of his deep bag of handles whereas Amen does it less often plus he doesn't need to handle the ball as often since he looks to find open lanes and feed his teammates inside more than Amen does this choice is basically a coin flip but the player I like more in this year's draft is 
Ashira Thompson. I can very easily see the argument as to why Amon could be better. Being able to make plays happen out of thin air like he does is a very valuable trait in the NBA and to NBA scouts. But I find that guards and wings who can play make, handle, and see open floor are much more common in the NBA than guards and wings who can play perimeter and interior defense at an elite level. Ashira can come in, play at an all defensive level while still having just as good of an offensive skill set as his brother. And if he develops a jump shot with his cutting play style, his play style would be very similar to that of Steph Curry and Bradley Beal. Real quick before this video ends, I'm going to have daily uploads during the NBA playoffs, similar to the other discussion videos on the channel, just talking about the playoff games. So if you're interested in that, be sure to stick around starting tomorrow for more playoff content. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.